quite honestly, when you're talking about emerging markets, at this point, you're talking about China. China's 50 percent of the emerging markets benchmark. And that is one of the areas that we have to really start to think about how markets are changing, because we've relied on the fact that emerging markets could be differentiators. And we've just said that we're going to invest in emerging markets, and that's going to um, be a form of diversification, increasingly seeing that the world is not dividing evenly between developed markets and emerging markets. And there may be other ways we should look at it. And possibly, China is a form of diversification. There's very likely to be a decoupling between the United States and China, because they are going to make very different decisions about technology. And there are countries who are going to line up behind China, and then there are com companies and countries that are going to line up behind the United States. And I don't really know who the winner is going to be. And we're going to have to decide how we're going to participate in those markets and provide us with some opportunities. But there are clearly a lot of risks there, it's especially risks when, um, you know, we're concerned about what's going on there. And we're concerned about the laws and the regulations and how they'll change in response to things that we do here. And it is an inordinate amount of risk, but it is a big market. It's hard to ignore it. One of the things looking back in the last decade is the tide has risen pretty well with China. Looking forward to the next decade, how far is that tide going to keep going? Well, they are slowing. But even though they're still slowing, they're still growing a lot faster than we are. And if so if you're looking for growth, you need to go there. I also think that it's, it's not insignificant that it is a government that can control a lot of things, and it can turn on a dime in many respects. And so it can make adjustments in ways that are, that are arguably more challenging for us to make adjustments. Roger, how big an opportunity is China in the next decade? Uh, look, I think, broadly speaking, you're right. It is growing. It is still emerging. I think the challenges have to do with transparency, the ability to, you know, get your money out, depending on how you invest. Um, and your very good point around, you know, having teams who really understand what's going on. So I think it is absolutely still a class that one has to look at. But I'm a little more cautious, maybe, mm. uh, for those reasons. Yeah, no, and I, and I, Chinese, and I agree with you. Chinese economy and the Chinese market are very different things. Yeah. A right. large part of the market cap of the Chinese market is state enterprises. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's where I'd want to be uh, yeah, betting with uh, my money. You got a lot of arbitrariness in the rules. I suspect you're going to have a bit of a general reluctance to see Americans and American institutions making large amounts yeah. of money and taking it out of uh, China. I'm not sure it's going to be so easy to find Chinese managers who could be completely trusted mm. by American sources of funds, given the political environment. Uh, in uh, China, you can't ignore you can't ignore it, but I think it's yeah. very be very easy. Uh, as hundreds of years of history of uh, optimistic Americans seeing China as a frontier and not having their hopes realized in terms of financial returns.